वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू रॉम ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स देर आर फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स दैट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड सी द सिंगल चिप ऑफ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एट जीरो फाइव वन दैट इज हैविंग फोर के बी ऑफ रॉम बट हियर वी कैन इंटरफेस Externally, 64 KB of ROM, and whenever you interface external memory, at that time there are few things that you need to keep in your mind. That is what I'll be explaining you in this video. But before that, you should understand how memory organization is there inside microcontroller 8051. So all the basics regarding memory that I'll be explaining you in this video step by step. So let us see all those things one by one. So here, my dear students. First of all, you should understand that 8051 that is having four different categories of memories. Here, internal ROM is there, which is having size of 4 KB with 8051, as well as externally we can interface 64 KB of ROM with 8051, and 8051 that is having internal RAM of size of 128 bytes. Here, my dear students. Externally, we can interface 64 KB of RAM with 8051. So, in total, there can be four different categories of memories. These two memories, internal memories, that is already there with 8051. But as if programmer is having need of some extra memory, then programmer can interface external RAM and ROM with 8051. Here, few more things that you need to understand. Like architecture of 8051 microcontroller. 8051 microcontroller follows Howard architecture. Howard architecture means what? Howard architecture means here we have separate program memory and separate data memory. Obviously, program memory which will be having instructions that we will be having with ROM. It should be non-volatile. While data memory that will be there with RAM that could be volatile. let me try to explain you why it is like this the reason is see whatever program that we have for this microcontroller that should be fixed right it will never change it will just execute instructions one by one but data may change so in various applications you will be having different data so you may need to change the data with respect to execution of program that's why data will be volatile that will be storing inside ram let me explain you further how things are there with 8051 so when we talk about applications then you should know 8051 that we use it with many embedded applications those applications may be remote control it may be there based on microwave own it may be there with washing machine timing control so likewise there are many embedded applications which is practically available with 8051 microcontroller here my dear students when you use 8051 in application at that time you should understand few basic things like whatever program that we store inside memory that should be fixed right you cannot change program so that will be there inside rom but data may change with respect to application that will be temporarily stored inside memory that's why it should be there with ram like for example when you store temperature as a data obviously data will change like for example you are having ac in which you are storing one program so your program is based on temperature should not exceeds to 25 degree celsius right that is what your program so that program will be there inside rom but temperature data that will change as cooling is happening your temperature will go down right and it should not exceed to 25 degree celsius so that data of temperature that will be there inside ram so howard architecture is used with 8051 in which program will be stored inside rom and data will be stored inside ram here my dear students some fixed data like ascii code right like data of seven segment display that we will be storing inside rom as it should be non volatile right it will be fixed but the data which we use it in program 
like temperature data, time data. So those data will be changing, right? So that's why we will be storing that inside RAM. So in short, my dear students, 8051 that is based on Howard architecture. It will be having RAM as well as ROM. ROM will be used for program. RAM will be used for data. Here, internal RAM and ROM is available. Internal RAM is having size of 128 byte. Internal ROM is having size of 4 KB. But as if programmer is having some high end application, then programmer can interface external memory like RAM and ROM. And at max, we can interface 64 KB of ROM and RAM. Now I'll explain you how ROM architecture is there with 8051. So here, my dear students, when only we use internal ROM at that time, it should be very clear to you. First of all, you'll have to make EA bar terminal is equals to 1. See, with 8051, this pin is playing essential role. It explains you whether we use internal ROM or not. As if you use internal ROM, then you'll have to make sure this pin that should be connected with VCC means it is logic 1. Whenever you make this pin is equals to logic 1, you are using internal ROM. Here, as if programmer is not interfacing external memory, then only internal ROM will be available. And that address will start from 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex to 0 f f f hex. That is by default address of this internal ROM where programmer can store their program. Here, few more cases are there. Like as a programmer needs to have some extra memory, then obviously programmer will be using internal as well as external ROM. And in case of programmer is using internal, ROM, then EA bar that must be equals to 1. What it indicates? Internal ROM is there with size of 4 KB and it will be having address ranging from 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex to 0 f f f hex. Means this address is allocated with internal ROM. Now, here as programmer is having need of some more memory, external ROM is available, Right, but at max you can have 64 KB, means 60 KB of external ROM can be interfaced. So from here onwards only you can use addresses. So next address after this 0 FF hex, that will be 1000 hex, right. Here my dear students, after that it can go up to maximum FFFF hex, right. So this will be the available range for external ROM. And here, my dear students, EA bar explains whether we use internal ROM or not. Here, sometimes you may be having only external ROM. So in that case, you will have to keep EA bar is equals to zero. What it means? 8051 will not use internal ROM. So in that case, external ROM that can be having maximum size of 64 KB, it will be starting from 0000, 0, 0, 0 hex to up FFFF hex address, right? Now, Few of my students were been asking me some questions like they were been telling me, sir, if you use only external ROM, then what is the use of internal ROM? So obviously here programmer is deciding this, right? Let me tell you one more thing. Like for example, when you have external ROM only at the time you are discarding internal ROM. Why? The reason is my dear students, when you go in market, you don't have external ROM with the size of 60 KB, right? Either you buy a ROM with size of 32 KB or you can buy a ROM with the size of 64 KB. So you cannot have 60 KB of ROM. For that, you'll have to use multiple ROMs, right? So here external ROM that we are using with 64 KB or 32 KB, you don't have facility of 60 KB of ROM. For that, you'll have to use multiple ICs. That is why 8051 is having this facility in which you can have internal as well as external as well as only external ROM facility. But here remember when you keep EA bar is equals to 1, your internal ROM will be there in use and it will be having fixed address. You cannot change this address, right? Only thing is external ROM that can be having different address that can be decided by programmer. So this is how structure is there in terms of ROM. I hope it is clear to you still. If any confusion is there, just post that in comment box. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.